Hello everybody, let's paint a pretty landscape. This is going to be a mountain that you probably know. This is going to be Mount Mackingly or Mount Denali, which is in Alaska, okay? So let's begin with our painting. Super easy. This is just a little bit of ultramarine blue mixed with titanium white. And I added a touch of oil to spread it around easily. Pay attention because we're going to have the right part of the, sea, of the sky uh, a little bit darker, but with that blue, okay? So as we are going to the left, we're going to start to add a little bit more of white to the mix. And if we need to retouch it, we can do it, okay? Just take it easy, but pay attention also because we're already leaving the space to the mountain, okay? We're already drawing the mountain line beneath the sky, okay? You can see we already have that shape there. Just, it's just a, a slightly different approach to painting. This is only a little bit of ultramarine blue with a lizard and crimson and a touch of white to lighten it. Again, with oil, and I'm gonna start to mark some kind of uh, shadows to my mountain, okay? Super easy, and as I'm going down, I'm starting to add a little bit more of bloom to make it a little bit darker, okay? And maybe a little bit more uh, bright, vibrant. This mix is a touch of uh, yellow into a big chunk of white. And we're, we're going to start to cover the mountain with snow. It's going to be a snow mountain and it's going to give us the sensation that is disappearing in the distance, okay? That's what we are going to build. And pay attention because remember this is not a solid wall of white. We are leaving some spaces there to show the shadows but also the the white of the of the canvas. Just keep touching and retouching. And build your snow little by little. Super easy. Just take it easy. Just take it easy. Don't try to speed it up. Especially if you don't have enough experience. But it's easy. This is easy. Okay, some touches more of blue here. We are approaching the ground, the ground level, and retouching the shadows, retouching the shadows of the snow. Pretty nice. Yeah, just like that. This is pure titanium white, and I'm adding some highlights to the snow, okay? Super easy. Just some touches. Some touches of very, very hard light. Pretty nice. Pretty nice, just like that. Here I'm just blurring the base of the mountain to keep the sensation that there is some kind of mist. And let's add another layer to our landscape. This is Asphaltum, that's the name of the color, but you can use any any brown i just mixed it with a touch of uh, yellow and i diluted it with uh, oil okay super easy the shapes are kind of random but uh, i'm trying to build this sensation of mountain shapes there okay slower hills and mountains on the base of the bigger mountain super nice the shadow is pure um, blue, ultramarine blue, with a touch of my brown, same brown that I used. Super easy. We're going to blur this later, maybe a little bit more, okay? But for now, we're going to leave it like this. We're going to start to work on our next layer. 
Okay, this is blue with a touch of brown to make it darker and create this color, this kind of bluish and almost gray. Super easy, and this is pure ultramarine blue to be low light. We're going to see how this is going to work. Super easy. You spread it around, lay it down where your water is going to be, and we're going to keep building it little by little. Super easy. Just like that. Remember that I'm working with like diluted paint with oil, okay? This time we are diluting with oil. Pretty nice. Let's add some shadows onto that uh, onto that uh, water. Okay, this is a mix of yellow and ultramarine blue. And let's start to dot. I'm dotting is not a flat surface, okay? So I don't know if you can appreciate on, uh, uh, on your screen, but there is a lot of texture of my dotting with the sensation of grass, of foliage, of plants there, okay? And with my darker color, I'm going to build these uh, lanes, these lanes of, of plants, of grass. Are shaping in the distance, pretty nice, pretty, pretty nice. This is a super good exercise to work an uh, atmospheric perspective, okay? That we just achieve by changing the intensity of our colors, our saturation, our tones, okay? Super easy. Just gonna put some of that green on the water, kind of a reflected light, and I'm going to lighten this side part of the lake. Of the lake. That's it. Super easy. Super easy. Pretty good. This is pure titanium white that I'm mixing with the blue that I have there. I'm gonna start to build this reflection of the mountain. Just be very careful to not uh, do not get your white all over your water, okay? Or it's going to disappear because the white is also very, very invasive. So be careful. Be careful. That's it. Pretty, pretty easy. Work it little by little so you don't have any problems of adding too much white to your canvas. That's it. Again, with my shadowy colors from the grass, I'm going to build the grounding for the plants that I'm going to put all over here, okay? This is the same color, the same shadow color from, from the grass up there. Okay, it's going to build some kind of tree on this part. Some plants, some bushes on the ground. That's it. And I'm going to start to add highlights. This is the same green that I'm used, that I used on the grassland back there and we are going to adjust it a little bit later to make the distinction between the two planes a little bit easier to the eye, okay? I'm thinking that I'm going to add a little bit of um, maybe orange or red back there to give the sensation that that grass up there is a little bit uh, burnt burnt by the cold, maybe but this part over here is super, super, uh, super green Super green. Okay. This is my orange. Just add touches and immediately we start to get the distinction between the two planes easily. Okay. I'm going to retouch the mountain just a little bit more. A little bit more of our reflection here. But be very careful. Be very careful with your white. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. That's it. That's about it. I'm going to blur this part a little bit more to keep it back there even more. And I'm going to add some touches of red here and there, just a little bit, just tiny touches. And we are pretty much done, people. Uh, I'm just going to add uh, some branches, scratch some branches, some twigs, and to paint others with my fan liner brush. This is the photo, I hope you like it, try it. It's a little bit hard, but it's doable, okay? You can make it. 
can make it. Just a matter that you want to try it. Okay, I'll see you on the next time.